Welcome in everyone. What is the shortest video that you have ever seen from me? I'm gonna give you a hint, it's this one. Let me go straight to the point here. Um, you all know about the apt utility, correct? So there is something new about apt and this is in the uh, super cow powers version of the apt utility. I'm gonna get to the version in just a little bit. Uh, dpkg minus minus list uh, grep let's say emacs okay so i have a couple of emacs packages here and let's pretend that i don't know why all these are installed so emacs nox probably a binary right it says amd64 so this is the main package here uh, this one says also probably some uh, packages that depend on something else but you don't really know uh, so let's pretend that we want to know uh, apt y and then paste emacs dash common so it says uh, it depends uh, emacs nox depends on emacs common let's um, for example grab i don't know vim uh, vim 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 Python. Okay, what is this package doing exactly? apt y python3 dash pi n vim. Uh, NeoVim recommends python3 dash pi n vim. Does this mean that we can uninstall it without breaking NeoVim? Let's give it a try. If it only recommends, then I guess we can remove this and debloat our computer just a tiny bit apt purge python3 dash pi and vim so as i said if it only recommends then this should be uninstallable without breaking anything else let's press enter yep we are only removing this package and nothing else and if we press uh, enter here it is going to remove this one and voila we have debloated our computer just a tiny bit whether or not this was the right thing to do in this particular scenario about NeoVim, um, I'm gonna leave it up to you, but in the grand scheme of things, once you get to install a lot of packages, maybe combine multiple repositories, uh, some packages are going to automatically pull some other packages. After a while, you're no longer going to be a 100% uh, sure which package pulled which other one and why so then you're going to use the why command there is also a why not command however it's a little bit harder to demonstrate this one um, you are going to have to break your system a little bit uh, so that some packages are not really installable for whatever reason and then you're going to ask the apt um, why not and it's gonna tell you why not uh, why is something not installable uh so that's gonna be it from me apt dash v is going to tell you that you need the version 3.1 in order to get this command and this is basically a part of the unstable slash experimental at this point um and i wish you a good day and i'm gonna see you in the next video